All right, guys, it is uh, Sunday, second day on trail, and I'm, I slept at the Pinhody Outdoor Center last night, and Nathan is getting ready to shuttle me and Dallas Wave. That's Dallas from Dallas. <laughs> and she's uh, she's doing my section today. She's doing Trammel to Bull Gap. So uh, she and I are going to get shuttled to the uh, trailhead and get started on our hike here soon. Uh, it's going to be another warm day. Probably reaching 80 degrees. So I'm hoping we can get on trail pretty soon and, and get going. But uh, yeah, I was pretty sore yesterday. My calves were tight and I rolled everything out last night. Took my ibuprofen this morning and I drank a lot of water. And I uh, think it's gonna be a good day. So we will see you at Trammel Trailhead. All right, we're on trail. Oh my God. Me and Dallas. Say hello, Dallas. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> so we're at Trammel Trailhead, heading to Bull Gap. I've already parked my truck at Bull Gap, so should be a 11, 11 and a half mile day and Dallas is going on. She's going to go past the little gap camp tonight. So anyway, see you on down the trail. All right. We're probably about a mile, mile and a half in on the uh, Tremble to Bull Gap section. It's been pretty easy so far. This is this has been cruiser through here. We haven't hit Rebecca Mountain. That's gonna be a pretty pretty decent climb, but right now we're just kind of running ridges. Me and Dallas, there's Dallas behind me. So yeah. We're uh, making it along, making pretty good pace this morning. I'm glad to find a, a hiker that uh, likes to hike pretty fast. So, beautiful section of trail. I think we're getting close to the uh, Talladega, Talladega National Forest. There's been a lot of blowdowns through here. Back in a little bit. All right, cruising right along. I think we're at about um, four and a half miles. Yeah, it's right about four and a half miles on the day so far. So this has been a great section. The sun hadn't really come out and heated things up too much yet but it's coming and actually I'm trying to speed up because I don't want to be hiking in the hot part of the day I don't know what mountain this is but we've been coming up switchbacks for about the last half mile I hadn't checked gut hook to see where we're at 
So far, so good though. Yeah, like I said, I'm really glad that they did a lot of switchbacking on this section right here. Because we climbed up pretty pretty high. But it hadn't really felt like it because the switchbacks has been gradual. But the view up here, if we get an opening, is going to be amazing. Alright. Check back later. Okay, we're about mile five and a half, six, something like that for the day. And this is 35 mile on the trail. Mile 35 on the Pinhody Trail. Oh, wow, yeah. A semi road walk. I'm not going to use my trekking poles here. All right, there's a cell tower behind me. So I take it I've got good cell coverage. Man, I'll tell you what, I just was walking and thinking about how blessed I am to be able to do this. When I started backpacking, I didn't realize it would become an obsession, but I just love it. I love being in nature seeing new places I mean if I wouldn't have started backpacking I would have never known about this Penhody Trail of course I'd, I'd heard about the Appalachian Trail but never ever considered that I might want to hike it <laughs> but uh, yeah this is if you've never thought about hiking backpacking give it a give it a shot it's a, it's a very healthy habit. It's once you get your gear, it's not super expensive. I mean, when you're buying gear, yeah, it can it can get a little pricey. Um, but just buy it a little at a time, and don't you know you don't have to start out with the best of everything. Pretty steep downhill. But yeah, just. Uh, Go out and buy some gear. Go, to, you know, if you don't want to go to REI and buy stuff, go to Dick Sporting Goods and buy a, a tent. Do short hikes. Sleep in a tent. See if you uh, see if you enjoy sleeping outside. But yeah, I just I love it. I really do. And I'm so thankful. To have a wife that will let me get out and do stuff like this. She's got a a motto or a saying, you do you. <laughs> and she knows what I love to do. She knows I love to hit these tra long distance trails. So, Robin, thank you for letting me do this. All right, well... I guess this is, you call this a road walk. <laughs> kind of weird. I guess this is just a road where they come up here and work on the cell tower there. Thank goodness it hadn't got too hot today. 
it's probably it's been there's been a breeze ever since I'm on top been on top of this ridge. But I, if I had to guess, the temperature is probably sitting at about 60, 65 right now. And I've run into about a million spider webs. Anytime you're out front on the Pinhoti, you can expect to run into a lot of spider webs. I looked over to my on my left shoulder a minute ago and I had a spider just sitting there on my shoulder, just hitchhiking. So I flicked him off. Kept going. Alright, well, I'll check back later. Alright guys, I am just about finished with this section, uh, Tremel to Bull Gap, turned around here so you can see, there's the Bull Gap trailhead. The water cache out here, thank you to whoever left the water, Talladega National Forest. And there's the road. I don't I don't know which road that is, but it's a pretty busy road. So finishing up. I'm right at day two, uh, 40 miles in the books. So get down these steps here to the road. Um yeah, this section, I think it was section, this, I think this was section three. Great section. Awesome section. I really enjoyed it. I mean, it was, trail was clear. Not that I didn't enjoy the, the first three, but no road walking. The, uh, everything was clear. It reminded me a lot of the AT. It really did. So, yep, going to go get some sleep and I will uh, catch up to you on day three. Thanks for joining me and talk to you soon.